dear students so today we are going to see about the ester of hydrolysis so the title of the experiment is kinetics of acid catalyzed hydrolysis of ethyl acetate so basically in this experiment you should know what is mean by ethyl acetate it's a ester it's an ester so ester means what a reaction between an alcohol and a carboxylic acid will result in an ester it's a condensation reaction with the removal of smaller water molecule it forms the product the reverse the reaction we are going to see in today's experiment which happens in a biological system by means of uh, with the help of enzymes so here you can see that ethyl acetate is taken in presence of a mineral acid it undergoes hydrolysis what does mean by lysis lysis is a breaking of molecule hydrolysis means with the help of water the molecule will undergo a cleavage and it will form a product so what are the products form here obviously what are the two reactant it forms ester the same reactants will form as a product because it's a reversible reaction of the ester formation so here the product formed as ethyl alcohol and acetic acid so two different acids are there you you may get confused so one is the product form which is an acetic acid and another one is the mineral acid which is used as a catalyst so now let me go for a rate equation what does mean by rate equation so rate means it's the speed okay so speed means it's with respect to time so here the concentration with respect to time we are measuring so what does this negative symbol indicate so the negative symbol indicate the decrease in concentration so the decrease in the concentration of ester with respect to the time then why we are using dc by dt it's the smallest change in time with respect to that the smallest change in concentration is measured so this is the rate equation we are using okay so here a is the initial concentration and a minus x is the concentration at that particular time t so this is for ester but actually here measuring the concentration of the ester is very difficult that's why we are measuring the concentration of the product so the product is which one we can analyze here alcohol you cannot estimate easily so the easily uh, what we can estimate is an acid so the acetic acid easily we can estimate by means of titrating it against of an alkali so this concentration we are measuring and based on that we are calculating the concentration of the ester so for that this particular equation is used okay so now whatever the value we are getting from this experiment we are plotting it and from the slope we are calculating the kinetics okay now i am going to demonstrate the experiment so first i'll explain the setup required for this experiment first thing is you have to fill this burette with point 2n sodium hydroxide solution so being a colorless solution you have to consider the lower meniscus because it's visible so you have to fill this burette up to 0 level okay so the sodium hydroxide you are taking in the burette and then you are fixing the burette in the burette stand okay so in the required height you are fixing it now the reagents required for this experiment is 0.2 n sodium hydroxide which is taken in the burette and then 0.5 n hcl hydrochloric acid because this is an acid catalyzed reaction and then the ester which is undergoing hydrolysis in this particular experiment and this is the reaction bottle in which the reaction is going to happen and the phenethylene which is The, an indicator for acid base reaction so phenethylene you are using as an indicator and a conical flask to carry out the titration and then a graduated pipette this 5 ml graduated pipette and the bulb you are going to use it to take the ester because we are taking 5 ml of ester so 5 ml graduated pipette is used and another one is 10 ml graduated pipette which is used to take the reaction mixture because we are taking 10 ml of the reaction mixture okay so the same rubber bulb we are going to use and then ice so the ice is to freeze the reaction for example at 0th minute or 10th minute you are going to titrate 
so at the time whatever the concentration is there it should remain as such when you take the reagents and again when you titrate some time may be lapsed so in the meantime some reaction may happen so to arrest the reaction you are using the ice cubes okay so here the graded ice is kept which i am going to use for the titration and being a kinetics experiment time is very important so i am going to use this stopwatch okay so this is the setup required for this particular experiment and one more which i forgotten is the measuring cylinder because uh, the hydrochloric acid we are going to take 100 ml so we are using a measuring cylinder because it's very difficult to use a graduated pipette or pipette to take 100 ml of quantity so that's why i'm going to use a 100 ml measuring cylinder now i'm going to perform the experiment so first i'm taking the reaction bottle from the thermostat so now you may ask what is this thermostat and what is the role of this thermostat so this is to maintain the same temperature of all the reagents reagents and the reaction mixture okay so we are using the reactants okay and as far as the reaction mixture all should be in the same temperature because the kinetics is a temperature dependent so that is the reason why we are keeping everything in a thermostat now we are taking a reaction bottle in this i am going to measure 100 ml of 0.5 n hydrochloric acid so i am taking a measuring cylinder and i am pouring the 0.5 n hydrochloric acid up to 100 ml mark which measures 100 ml yes now i am checking the meniscus yes it's lower meniscus it's a colorless liquid it's perfect so now i am going to transfer it into this reagent bottle using a funnel otherwise the liquid may spill out every drop of liquid it counts okay because you are measuring the concentration so now i am pouring this 100 ml of 0.5 n hydrochloric acid into the reaction bottle so this is one of the reactant this is one of the reactant and the next reactant is as you know what is it i am putting a stopper and i am closing it the next reactant what i am going to use is ester i am using two reagents but still it's a first order reaction already we saw the equation how comes the reason is so the concentration of this acid and water okay the change in concentration of this acid in water will be negligible okay so we are going to follow up the concentration of only the ester okay so this is the pseudo first order reaction that's how it's a pseudo first order reaction so the entire reaction kinetics depends on the ester okay so here we are using ethyl acetate so now what i'm going to do is from this i'm going to take 5 ml in a graduated pipette using a bulb why i'm using a bulb okay the reason is some of the chemicals what we handle may be hazardous it may get into your mouth okay which is very dangerous and toxic so that's why i'm taking uh, this bulb okay so now you can see that the graduated pipette is there i'm putting this bulb in the mouth of the pipette now i'm pressing it i'm going to put it inside the bottle i am taking the ester out so it's coming up so up to zero mark i am going to take yes taken now i am going to remove the bulb i removed it so now i am going to adjust the concentration up to the zero mark so it's done being ester it's highly volatile i'm closing it and opening the reaction bottle and then putting this 5 ml of ester into the reaction bottle immediately the reaction will start so when it comes 0.2.5 ml i'm switching on this stopwatch 
So stopwatch is switched on and I am transferring the remaining quantity. So the entire quantity should be transferred. So I transfer the entire quantity. Now from this I am going to take up 10 ml of the reaction mixture for the 0th minute. So the same procedure I am putting it, I am pressing it, I am taking 10 ml, stopwatch is already on. So I am checking the 10 ml mark, yeah it is up to 0 mark. So 10 ml of the reaction mixture I took it out and I am going to pour it in the conical flask. I transfer this 10 ml into the conical flask. Yes, it is done. Now to freeze the reaction, I am putting some ice cubes into the conical flask so that the reaction is freeze now. I am adding few drops of phenaphthalene into it. As you already know that phenaphthalene will give pink color in alkaline medium. Right now in this reaction alcohol and acid is produced so the medium is acidic so the phenaphthalene is colorless now. Okay? So now I am going to titrate it against of the sodium hydroxide kept in the burette. So I am opening the knob, I am shaking the solution. So I am titrating the reaction mixture. You can see that the pink color comes and goes away and now the acid produced from the ester is neutralized with the sodium hydroxide taken in the burette. So we are titrating until the end point. So the end point is appearance of pink color. So that will happen only if the alkali is in excess. Right now the acid present in the mixture consumes all the alkali which is transferred to the conical flask. So you can see that still it is colorless which indicates that still some acid is left out. So again we are adding sodium hydroxide. Once the disappearance of the pink color is slow, you should make it bit slow. The titration you, you have to make it little bit slow because it is nearing the end point. Yes, it becomes slow now. So until it becomes a permanent pink color. Okay, so you can say that, see that a permanent pink color it comes here. So this is for 0th minute. So the same way every 10 minutes you have to repeat this titration by taking 10 ml of the reaction mixture okay, from this reaction bottle into the conical flask and continue for 4 or 5 times for every 10 minutes once. So once this part is over, okay, we have to find out V infinity. For that the left out reagent, okay, the left out reaction mixture otherwise, okay. So this will be taken and put it in a water bath, okay. So the water bath is kept here, you can see that it is already switched on and you have to heat it around 60 degrees to 70 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes, okay. You have to keep the reaction bottle inside this hot water bath, okay. So after 15 minutes the reaction will be completely complete. Okay, and from this you have to pip it out again another 10 ml of the mixture, final uh, version of the mixture and then again you have to titrate it using this uh, burette. Okay, so that will give V infinity. So from this V0, V infinity and at different time intervals T. Okay, so whatever the end point you are getting, okay, all it can be tabulated and substituted in the formula and finally you can find out the kinetics and you can plot a graph and find out the value of the k. That is all. Thank you.